Mr. Holster back with another top five, and this was a tough one. Today we're going to take a look at the movies of Bruce Willis, yeah, Jack's, Jack's good buddy. I know, I know, I'm not making fun, Jack. Jack's good buddy. We can edit it out. Any rate, yeah, we had a hard time picking the top five because Jack was just set on a lot of things that I didn't even think should have been in, included in the top five, and we were up late last night doing it to the point where I just caved. I didn't. I decided I didn't even care. <laughs> no, no, Jack, no. No, you're right, you're right. I'm just teasing. Any rate, number five, the movie Red, 2010, where he... He is retired CIA operative Frank Moses, and he carries a para ordnance 1911 GI expert. A beautiful firearm. Number four, our number four pick, 16 Blocks, a 2006 film where he, where he plays a, a police detective that's kind of on the sauce, and in a bar scene, he uses this Remington double barrel side by side. Spartan 12 gauge. Number three, our number three pick, and this is one both and Jack, both Jack and I actually did agree on, but I didn't personally think it should be at number three, but that's a whole nother story. No, that's no, let's not start that again, Jack. I'm trying to get this done. That would be the movie The Jackal 1997 where he uses a Beretta 84FS Cheetah 380, which I personally happen to think is the best 380 ever built. Number two. Our number two pick, Tears of the Sun, made in 2003, where Bruce Willis plays a Navy SEAL carrying an H&K Mark 23 45 ACP, complete with silencer. Number one, Jack's number one pick. <laughs> oh, don't get upset, Jack, but it, it is your pick. I didn't know. Yeah, Jack's number one pick, Last Man Standing. Apparently, this is his favorite movie from 1996, where he uses a matched pair of M1911A1 45 ACPs that, incidentally... Never seem to run out of ammo. <laughs> oh, come on, Jack. You got to admit. Part of our argument, though, we decided, and this is how it really got settled last night, we were going to have a wild card to add to this. And this helped us along a great deal because he used so many great guns in this franchise he had of the Die Hard movies. Yes, where he played John McClane, police officer John McClane. And he used his favorite sidearm in the first couple of them was a Beretta 92 9mm. And then, of course, if you remember in the second Die Hard, he starts the show out by duct taping a Smith & Wesson 36 to his back while he carries that sandwich sign around Harlem. <laughs> then he switched into the later series, the later franchise movies, Die Hard movies. He switched to a SIG. P220 with a rail on it in 45 ACP, of course. And then we picked, there were so many other guns that he picked up along the way and used, but we decided this was the best, so we picked this, the FN M249 Saw Paratrooper. There you go, guys. There's, there's our five top picks for Bruce Willis. Thanks for tuning in. From Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. Uh, I don't even know how much of your life I've wasted with this, but I'll tell you, I, I, I wasted an awful lot of my life last night that I'll never, ever get back again. <laughs> right, Jack? No, don't shut! No, don't slam the door! You'll break!